Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out this great looking 1963 Chevy Impala. Fantastic sound and dual exhaust. The keys to this car are one, 63 Impala, two, four speed manual transmission, and three, ice cold air conditioning. Um, it's got a lot of great options and a great looking car to begin with. Great looking 63. Beautiful engine compartment, air conditioning under here, power brakes, power steering, nice running 350 Chevy. Really is a nice looking engine bay. Um, what makes this a driver is just like the inner fenders right here. You can tell the, the, uh, the jam paint right here isn't quite as nice as the outside of it, but the engine bay looks good. Like you said, brand new battery, ice cold air, uh, four speed, neat car. Yep. And I like the wheels a lot too. They're just kind of that retro style. Um, great looking, good stance. Really does have an awesome stance and really pretty good lines. Um, as we look here at the front, the original bumper, uh, original trim along the grill. So it does have a few little marks and little scars and stuff in it if you look up close, um, which makes this just a really nice driver cruise night car. Not a trailer queen by any means, but a good looking 63 Impala. I don't know why, D, but these Impalas are just getting harder and harder to find out there. Yeah, I mean, they, they made a ton of them, but um, you just don't see too many for sale. I think when they have them, they really keep them for quite a while. Yeah, they're, they're a damn neat car, and it helped when the Super Bowl commercial, you had Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent, you know, all <laughs> rocking the 63 Impala at the, the halftime of the Super Bowl last year. That don't make them cheaper, does it? No. Um, bottom of the fender looks great. Bottom of the door is nice. And the bottom of the door fits in really nicely to that quarter panel right there. So many of these are just really bubbled up and stuff like that on the rockers. Uh, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, um, make sure you uh, go on there and check our uh, undercarriage photos out. It's really a solid car under here. Um, I think it's got like one seat brace or something like that that does have a little rust in it over in the driver's side. But all in all, very solid little Impala. As far as our back uh, end goes here, same thing. Uh, rear bumpers, the original trim still. It's got some little scuffs, but at five, 10 foot away, it looks great. Um, back behind the rear wheels, nice. Dual exhaust is nice coming out there. And as you look up and down the side for a long quarter panel, this is really a straight car. It is. Does have a few little uh, dings here in the rear chrome. Behind the rear window is nice. As we open up the door, uh, the door jam paint, just as nice as the outside paint, that looks really good. It's got the bucket seat, full console, her shifter, four speed. Um, air conditioning under dash, AM, FM cassette. Headliner's nice. Rear sails in good shape, back shelf, um, and back seat's excellent as well. Door panel's great. Corner of the door looks good. Bottom of the door. It's a little chilly today. Do you want to roll up it those windows chilly. so when we take off, we ain't freezing, D? Um, trunk lid gap's good here. Um, paint on the trunk lid's excellent. Um, as we look down into here, you can see just the paints. I don't want to say the paint's rough, but it's your factory seam seal on your body right here. Just got a few little chips, stuff like that, right in that area. Um, other than that, the Argent's got a few little scratches in it, but uh, all in all, taillight lenses and that Argent looks really good. Again, as we uh, look down the side of the driver's side, back behind the rear quarter panel's excellent. You can just barely see the uh, um, exhaust tip. Look it up and down, it looks nice. Front edge of the quarter panel. Bubbles or blisters there. Um, little paint discoloration has been touched up right here, but look how nice that corner of that door fits right in here with that uh, rocker band on the corner. Same thing there, it does have a scratch and they touched it up, and it really probably should be uh, scuffed up in a little better match right there. Oh, I hope the heater works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know the air does. We don't need that today. It's cold outdoors. Starts good, don't it? Yes. Wiper blades look like they're in good shape. The wipers work. Corn works. Oh, yeah. Work. It does work. Yeah, cold. So, temp, warm will be down here. And these 
all work nice. Look at that. This is all separate with your air. Yep. We don't want that. Maybe a bad antenna. It's possible. Yeah, I'm guessing she don't have an antenna. Probably needs an antenna put underneath the dash here. Oh, there. But we got speakers hooked up. We got noise. Just no, no station. Okay. Um, what else we got? Sounds good. It's got the Super Sport console. It's got the short throw shifter. Yeah, and it is a close close ratio pattern too. I have a couple of sports pieces. Yep. Um, it took me about half a mile. Then I got the hang of it because it's just a little closer than your typical okay. four speed, but shifts great. I'm just freaking happy it's got heat right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it works good. Brakes work perfect. It looks like our steering wheel could be just off just a little bit. Sounds really nice. We haven't had a little 63 or 4 for quite a while. No, it's, it's been. We get a, a lot few of Novas and stuff in, but we don't get a lot of Impalas, that's for sure. How about that uh, small block 350 put in some work on a big old car like this? Damn. Give us 